Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to uh, do a quick video on uh, grapevines. Uh, I have a small window of opportunity to do this, so I decided to make a short video on my Concord grapes. So there is my vine up against the fence there, and I just wanted to bring you in and show you uh, a lot of the foliage, and you can see a lot of the clusters in here. This vine uh, has them all over. And they are literally everywhere along this vine. It's just full of them. And I've got uh, trailing vines that are uh, being held up by wire and T-posts. And so that vine is making its way across those wires. And here is the base of the grapevine. And uh, this year there are lots of clusters on here. But I wanted to point out that this grapevine uh, starts to flower. Those are like little flowers there that you can see. It starts out as what looks to be like grapes. Which they're not. They're actually flower buds. And then you can actually see right next to it what happens is those little pods will break open and that's the actual flower. So these are flowers, grape flowers. And bees do not have to pollinate them. Uh, they're self-fertile so you don't have to worry about that. The plant takes care of that all by itself. It has the male and female organs and so uh, that kind of gives you an idea and then what happens is uh, is this only happens within a few day window here so that's why I came out to do this video is uh, you can see all of the flowering and those little pods opening up and then what comes next is the actual fruit will set so these will flower and then it'll start to turn into small grapes so this plant here is maybe two to three years old and every year it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and this is my main grapevine for right now I have uh, two others that I've planted they're not as well grown as this one but it's just going to continue to go along this fence all the way back and so I just kind of wanted to show you uh, this particular grape is really good for making jam and jelly uh, as you know when you're in the store you see a lot of the Concord grapes uh, the names on the outside of the jelly jar so it's a good grape for that. And then I'll take you back and show you my other vine. It's just right down this way. And this here is a Thompson seedless green grape. And I'm just starting this one out I think this is about two years old. This is the second year. So it's got some growing to do. And you can see the little tendrils grabbing onto the cattle fencing, which makes excellent uh, trellises. And I have another video in which I talk about the trellising. Feel free to look at that. But I am not seeing any flowers or clustering yet on this one and then I have a new grapevine that I planted right there literally just a couple weeks ago so that one hasn't even flower or had any uh, growth off of it yet so that's my latest anyhow just wanted to do a video on my grapevines so hopefully you found this video somewhat interesting 
And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Texas Backyard Man and more. Thank you, take care, and we'll see you soon.